Welcome to the crew section. I'm KC. This Batgirl movie has been getting all the attention lately, whether it's talking about how the Bat family is potentially going to expand, or Michael Keaton's role, or this Bat suit that got revealed recently. And when I look at this thing, me personally, do I think it's the best thing ever? Absolutely not. Do I think it's the worst thing ever? No, I don't. But I do get CW vibes. I get Ben Affleck, Daredevil vibes. I get X-Men 2000 vibes. I get that. I got to go take a ride on my motorcycle with my leather jacket vibes when I look at this thing. The quality is not to where I think this outfit should be for this particular character. The whole Burnside story arc for Batgirl... I mean, this outfit is definitely inspired by that. I see what they were doing when they tried to make this come together, but I feel like it didn't translate the way that they probably wanted it to. I really would have preferred a black and gold look for the character. That's really more iconic to the character, in my personal opinion. But maybe they feel like uh, Michael Keaton might be showing up in his black and gold outfit that he's known for, so they didn't want to have him in a black and gold outfit and then have her in a black and gold outfit right next to him, whatever. But that's a... Another issue that I'm definitely going to talk about in another video as far as Michael Keaton's role in this potential Bat family. But this outfit... I f <laughs> There's no way that she's going to, in my personal opinion, go from this outfit to a better look in this film. I think that this is probably going to be her definitive final outfit in this movie. She might have like a basic looking outfit and she upgrades to this by the end of it, but... If people are like expecting a black and gold outfit for her, I don't see that happening until a sequel or maybe the Nightwing movie or a Bat family centric film. I don't see her upgrading past this in this movie personally, just because it's already something that's kind of inspired by the books to an extent. It's just that the materials that they used. You know what really sucks when I look at this? Knowing that I really enjoy the character of Barbara Gordon, she's very dear to me personally. Her relationship with Dick Grayson is something that I am very appreciative of, like how people view Lois and Clark or Bruce and Selena. That is way up there for me personally. And to see her as a character to getting all this negative attention, getting bashed because of the costume, the negative attention around Leslie Grace's casting for this, it's just, this is disappointing, to be honest. The last thing I wanted to see was the Bat family on the back end of a negative reception because of what WB is looking to do, how this is coming out at such a controversial time, and how things are just all over the place and in the wrong spots. And the fact is, somewhere in here is something that really could have worked to their advantage, but they chose to just take the wrong moves in various places that are really just not working out in the way that I really wish that it was, bro. I mean, oh God. and then you got Christina Hassan writing this movie too. It's like the outfit is already catching people's attention in a mixed way. The writers are already catching attention in a way that's like, okay, this could very well be trash. Could it be good? We want to be hopeful, but can we? Uh, we don't know. The credit score is like you're trying to buy a brand new home with a 300 credit score. Oh, good luck with that. That's how I feel when I look at this. That's how I feel when I think about this film. I'm like, I shouldn't be feeling that way for Barbara Gordon. I should be feeling that way for the Bat family. Yet here we are because of what is going on with WB and the DCEU moving forward. If I had to grade this outfit on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this... I give it like a, I give it a five, bro. If I'm going to be generous, I give it a six. I don't go any higher than that, though, because the materials could have been a lot better for this. I feel like I have seen outfits that are better than this on the CW, but I am not going to come out and say this is the worst costume design of all time and all of that. I mean, some people have already come out and said stuff like that. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's definitely not the best they could have done for Barbara Gordon. Not to me. <clears throat> But that's my thoughts on it. What did you guys think about her outfit? Are you a fan of this design? Do you think this design is garbage? Do you think this movie is going to be garbage? Do you think it's going to be cool? Let me know how you feel. Truth is, man, look, I am concerned about the DCEU moving forward. My reservations are still way up to the roof because they haven't given me any kind of reason to think otherwise. Call me skeptical if you want, but at the same time, I wouldn't be skeptical if this credit score wasn't so 
300 level, in my personal opinion. So it is what it is. I'm Casey from the Cool Section. You guys have a good one. And as always, as always, stay safe.